the one because it's not sex linked. Okay, it's tongue rolling. Now, tongue rolling, uh, some people can roll their tongues. I'm, I'm, I'm both recessive. I cannot roll my tongue, which means my, um, we, uh, if I whistle, I struggle to whistle because I cannot roll my tongue inside my mouth. Um, so it's a recessive gene if you can't roll your tongue, but it is a dominant gene if you can. Uh, so if you can fold your tongue in half, then you are a roller. If you can't, then you are non-roller, then you are recessive, recessive. I just want to copy my Punnett square in case I need it. There we go. Let's move it to this side. Okay, so let's take a look at the genotypes. Question eight. Genotypes of number two, four, and eight. So, Two, ah, no, not dominant. He's a non-roller. He cannot roll his tongue. So he's got to have a small letter R, small letter R. There we go. Okay, and then number four, the same. And number eight is also the same. Number eight. So the shape also... can roll tongue. The same. Okay, so. So he can roll his tongue. Uh, no, he can, so roll, he can his... roll his tongue. Tongue rolling yeah, is inherited as a dominant. Allow study the peregrine. Uh, okay. Uh, and answer the questions that follow. Tongue rolling is inherited as a dominant. Allow. Which is more dominant here? Let's take a look. Number one, three, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven can roll their tongues. Correct. Because that's the dominant. No. The dominant no, usually they can't shows. Their tongues, sir. Hmm? So the key says the key says he can roll. Oh, male that can roll. I see. I re I didn't read my key properly. Thank you for noting that. Okay. So the, let's then take a look again. Male that can roll their tongues. Okay, is black female that can roll their tongues? Okay, is colored in male that cannot roll their tongue. Okay, so my mistake. Thank you for picking that up. Let me go and delete the answers I, I've written down there and then fix them. Okay. It's a pleasure. So all of these yes. can roll their tongues then. Correct. Please mute everybody. Okay, I'm going to now. Come now, delete. Is that Kelly? <laughs> oh, no, man. This computer is fighting with me now. Doesn't want to delete that one. There we go. Let's just take it out of the way. There we go. Okay. So can roll their tongues. Number two, four, and eight can roll their tongues. Okay. So they need to all have a capital R then. If they can roll their tongues, they definitely have at least one capital R. So then let's take a look at number two. Um, okay, now you definitely pass the capital R onto, onto there. For, for mom over here, for number one, she is a non roller. So she has to have recessive R, recessive R. Okay, so. She passed um, recessive on to all her kids because she, she only has recessive, which means that she passed a recessive on to number four, okay? But it doesn't show it because there's a dominant and a recessive. Let's take a look at then 
number eight over there. Okay, so you could have received a recessor from both to be uh, number seven would have received a recessor from both. Number three had to be recessive, recessive. And number seven is recessive, recessive, which means number eight could only receive a recessive gene from number three. So there we go. Number eight is also small, a uh, big R, small R, dominant recessive, because he gets the dominant from four, four but the recessive from three. Let's try and figure out number two. Now, they've received recessive right through. So, let's take a look. Okay, you see, he had to have a recessive gene as well because he passed a recessive onto number five over there. He passed a recessive onto number five. Other, um, number five is small r, small r. And so you had to give the small r to number five because the other small r is coming from number one. So number two, capital R, small letter r, so is number four, so is number eight. Then, what is the probability of the tongue rolling trait appearing in the offspring if seven would marry nine? Now, I do hope that at this stage you do realize what is happening here is incest but let's not even talk about that at this stage so number seven and number nine okay so we have to work out what is number nine number nine is recessive okay recessive recessive because they are non-rollers they have both small r small r so if we put it on a Punnett square, here at the bottom, small r, small r, small r, small r. If we cross them over and you go small r, small r, small r, small r, all of them, 100% of them are all small r. So 100% of them, none of them, we're going to have rolling the rolling trait. All of them are going to have non-rollers. Then, question C, what is the probability of tongue rolling trait appearing in the offspring of number 8 should marry number 10? Okay, number 10, again, is small r, small r? Number 10, because he's recessive, recessive, recessive. Number 8 we worked out is capital R, small r. Apologies, let me just fix that. Okay. Let's delete that one. Okay, so if we cross them over, let's take a look. S capital R, small r. Okay, let me take it from above so we can see clearly. Capital R, small r. And over there, we've got another capital R and another small r. Down below, we've got a small r and a small r and small r, small r if we fill in our Punnett square and complete it. So that means 50% of them, 50% of them um, are rolling and 50% of them are non-rolling. So that's a 50-50 chance. Okay, and that is our three questions.